welcome to Ohio Valley Couponer. Today, when you guys are seeing it, is going to be Tuesday, June the 14th of 2022. And I'm coming at you guys with another budget grocery haul for the week. Yes, I'm super, super excited. This one is going to not be a stock up haul. So the last haul you saw was a huge, almost $300 monthly stock up haul from um, Sam's Club and Target and Kroger. And it was just a huge stock up haul getting things to last us for the month, which is awesome. But this week's is not going to be like that. We are on a budget this week. I've spent the bulk of my grocery money for the month and we got to keep it lower per week for the rest of the month. So I budget about 75 a week for our meat for the week, our produce for the week, and any just other odds and ends we need for the week, stocking up on sales. There's really not a whole lot of good sales this week though, so I'm not really doing a whole lot of stocking up. Um, so we're gonna try our best to stick to 75. I'd love to come in lower than that, um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and give us 75, just because I don't wanna set myself up for failure. So meal plan for the week. Um, we are gonna have, I planned five days worth of dinners. It is going to be a crazy busy week. So I wanted to go with meals that aren't gonna take much effort and clean up and things, things that I could easily make ahead, things that aren't gonna be, you know, not exactly make ahead, but things I can like prep in the morning and just have ready so I don't have to do clean up at night. It's gonna be a really, really busy week. So I just wanted to go with easy stuff. So um, Monday isn't really an easy meal, but Monday's like the chill day of the week. So we're gonna have sesame chicken, which sounds awesome. I found a healthy sesame chicken recipe on Pinterest rice and some stir fry veggies and egg rolls so that'll be good tuesday we are going to have chicken stuffing casserole wednesday we're just gonna have sub sandwiches thursday gonna make the summertime pasta salad i've made that so many times but we just we love it so i'm gonna keep making it friday we are gonna have bean burritos with chips and salsa so plain and simple pretty simple meal plan this week and thankfully, we have most of the ingredients at home, which makes me really happy. I don't have to buy a ton of stuff. Um, so it's going to be a pretty good week. And I definitely think we'll be able to stick to the budget. So anyway, guys, we're going to dive right in. We're going to two stores this week. We're going to go to Aldi and Kroger. I originally was just going to do Walmart and Kroger, but I just noticed Walmart. The Walmart app said they were out of like a ton of the stuff I was going to get. So I was like, okay, we'll just go ahead and come to Aldi. A couple things might be a tad cheaper at Walmart, but I'm not going to go to Walmart for two things. It just, it's not worth it. So just going to do Aldi and Kroger. They're literally right by each other. Like literally I can see Kroger pretty much from Aldi. Like I see the Kroger parking lot. So they're right here by each other. So it's pretty easy. So anyway, guys, let's just start out with Aldi and I'm going to take you guys inside. Oh, right. So I'm going to grab the Loban Fresh. Is that what they're called? Yeah. Deli rolls for $2.19. Um, I have been getting the Italian bread like from Walmart and I really like that. But I'm going to go ahead since I'm not going to Walmart and just do this this week. These are good too. So $2.19 for the six pack. Okay. So I'm going to grab a thing of green onions over here at Aldi. This is the best place I've seen to get these. 79 cents. And these look really fresh. So I'm going to pick that up. All right, so my strawberries that I need are actually a little bit cheaper over here at Aldi versus Kroger by like 10 cents, but hey, I'm here. I'm gonna go ahead and get them here. They actually look amazing. They look really fresh. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy this for $3.39. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab one of these great tomatoes for, I believe they're $2.49. The tagging's a little funky over here, so I guess we'll find out, but um, $2.49. Okay, I shouldn't do this, but I am going to go ahead and buy um, one of these Simple Truth, or not Simple Truth, Simply Nature White Cheddar Puffs. These are delicious. $2.09. All right, so I picked up three of the Simply Nature multi-grain tortilla chip for the organic tortilla chips. This is the best price I've seen around. Um, Kroger tor organic tortilla chips are $2.99 and the Walmart ones are $2.14. So Aldi for $1.99, really good deal. All right, so inflation has knocked this up too, but it's still the best deal I can find for the Simply Nature organic poppy seed dressing. Um, the non-organic's literally $2.99 a Kroger this week for like the nature zone, so this is really good. $2.49, I'm gonna go ahead and buy this. This should last us a while. This is what I use in the um, summer pasta salad, so this is really good. So while I'm at Aldi, I wanna do a little bit of stocking up because we don't have much ketchup left. I believe we're on our last bottle. This is the best place I have found the organic ketchup, which is what we use, $1.49. I'm gonna go ahead and just buy two just to have them on hand. 
And then for mayonnaise, I'm gonna pick up, this is the olive oil mayonnaise. We really like the squeezable bottles um, and it's $2.25. Again, the best price I've seen. And so I'm just gonna buy one of those just to have them on hand, just to have it stocked in the pantry because the way inflation is, I'm sure these prices are gonna go up. So I'd rather just go ahead and get it while it's at this current price and have it stocked in the pantry. All right, so need some lunch meat and Aldi by far is the cheapest I've been able to find this lunch meat that has no antibiotics or anything or nitrates or color per like preservatives and all that random stuff. Um, 309 for the honey ham. So I'm gonna pick that up. And I do run into this. They don't have turkey like ever. And some of us just eat turkey. So I'm gonna have to spend a little bit more and get this organic turkey, which is fine. Um, it's 320 or 449. So ouch, but not the worst. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy that at 449. Still cheaper than I could even get like the Oscar Mayer natural one at Kroger. So pretty good. Man, I wish they would have had that still because that's a really good price, but uh, all good, picking this up. So I was gonna get some chicken tenders at Aldi, the never any kind, that's the kind we like, and there's none here, so. Yeah, they just have some like organic chicken breasts up there, but I wanted the like never any antibiotic chicken tenders, but I don't have them, so. All right, moving on. Guys, it is so weird now what a trip to the grocery store looks like. Every time you come, they're out of stuff and the prices have gone up like astronomically on at least one or two things. It's just wild. All right, so we need spring water and we usually get a big pack at Sam's Club. It is the better deal, but they're out. So I'm gonna just get away to Aldi, 379 for 24 bottles. Ouch, but we need it, so we're gonna get it. All right, so I need some stir fry veggies for the meal, the Chinese meal that we're making. And this, these look pretty good. It's the steamed Asian seasoned medley. It's 235. It's got broccoli, carrots, corn cobs, um, sugar snap peas, and it comes with a seasoning. So 235, picking it up. All right, so it's a really good time to come to Aldi because these bars, which are our favorite, the Elevation bars, these are low sugar and low carbs or whatever, good for, honestly, don't judge, but like a breakfast and um, even just a dessert that's lower carbs and sugar. They're on sale this week for $3.49, which is awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of the caramel nut. This tastes just like Snickers. I'm not even kidding, just like Snickers. I'm gonna buy one of the chocolate coconut bars and that tastes just like a Mounds. And I've never had this. It's a caramel double chocolate crunch. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that as well for $3.49. Um, pretty much all out of like snack bars and breakfast bars. So glad I ran into this sale and gonna pick those on up. All right, so here's everything I am grabbing at Aldi. This should be under $50, so let's see. I said it was gonna be under 50. How much more under 50 can you get than $49.99? Hilarious. Off to Kroger. All right, so first thing at Kroger is the Simple Truth blueberries. And like I told you guys, blueberries are 10 cents cheaper over here. And hey, since I'm shopping both stores anyway, I'm just gonna as well save the 10 cents. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick these up. Just looking for the freshest ones. These look pretty good. So picking them up. All right, so I'm gonna pick up a little bunch of bananas. These look pretty good. Um, 69 cents a pound. I'm guessing this is about two pounds. I'll weigh them to be sure. No, I don't think I'm gonna get this one. I think I'm gonna get this one instead. Yes, because we like the smaller bananas. So I'm gonna pick up a bunch of these. All right, so I need some Roma tomatoes for the um, subs and then just, I don't know, just to have this stuff for salads or whatever. It is $2.49 for a pack. So my tomatoes rang up even cheaper at $1.79. Sweet. All right, I am so happy it's watermelon season and these are huge. I'm so excited. So these are $3.99. This one sounds really good if you beat on it and it sounds hollow, that's what you want. So I'm gonna pick this up for $3.99. All right, so man, I tell you, meat is another thing that is just skyrocketed in price. They didn't really have any chicken tenders here either, which is weird. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get thighs. I think chicken thighs will be good for sesame chicken. Um, I have some chicken in the freezer I'm gonna use up for the stuffing casserole. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these. I think this will be really good. Look for probably the smallest pack. I think that's the smallest pack. So. 681, gonna get this.
All right, so I'm gonna get two of the Kroger brand sandwich breads. These are on sale for $1.33. This is something that is a little bit cheaper at Walmart, but it works out pretty good here as well for just a little more. So it saves me a trip to Walmart. These are $1.34. I have this 50 cents off a of two coupon that Kelly sent me. Thank you so much, Kelly. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy two of those and they're gonna be like $1.12 a piece, which is a pretty decent price. So I'm gonna buy two of these. All right, so I'm gonna pick up a thing of Kroger brand oyster crackers. The minis, I've never had the minis, I don't think. Maybe these are the ones I always get, I don't know. They're $1.25. No, I feel like the ones I get are bigger, so I'm excited for these, $1.25. So I know I got a bunch of bars at Aldi, but I am just gonna pick up one of these Simple Truth Organic Strawberry Cereal Bars just to have on hand as well. We just don't have any, and these are gonna last us for the rest of the month, most likely all the ones from Aldi. And here, $2.49. All right, so I am gonna pick up two of these sparkle paper towels today. These are $5.97 with the weekly digital deal. And there's a $1 manufacturer digital coupon, making them $4.97 for these, which is an awesome deal. I am able to grab two. I am gonna be using two different cards. Um, my family members let me use their credit cards to use their digital coupons, then I give them products in return. So it's a win-win and I'm not clearing any shelves because my store probably has a hundred of these. I'm not even kidding. So super, super excited to grab these. Awesome price, but... I do have a little twist this week, which is gonna make this haul even cheaper. I use um, two credit cards for all my monthly like spending. I just pay them off every month and never pay interest, but I rack up a ton of rewards points this way. So on one of my cards, I have like $13.02 worth of rewards. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that off of this. And so I'm actually gonna mm, technically um, get these for free. I'll have a little bit of that money go towards some other things I'm purchasing today. So really awesome. This is a great deal, totally picking these up. So I'm gonna do a little bit of rebate action here. I'm gonna pick up another one of the Del Monte spinach artichoke um, bite pocket pies. These are so good. $3.99 and there's $3 and no, $2.90 back on Shopkick, making this $1.09 for two of them. These are like Hot Pockets and they are delicious. So I'm gonna pick these up. Okay, so I do have some egg rolls at home I need to finish up. I have like one or two. So I'm just gonna buy this small box of the Chung's vegetable egg rolls. These are delicious. $4.49, ouch, but that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna grab these. All right, so I'm gonna grab a Silk Unsweetened Almond Milk. It is $3.29 and I have a dollar off of one digital coupon, making it $2.29. So not too bad of a deal. I'm gonna pick this up. I don't know if it's gonna be on a shortage or what. Aldi was completely out of almond milk. And so I'm gonna get it and we'll use it. We definitely will need it within probably, I don't know. I think we have some left, but probably not enough for the whole week. So I'm gonna pick this up. All right, so I'm gonna buy a box of Kroger brand stuffing. And I know the stuffing is cheaper at Aldi, but we only like the Kroger brand, even over stovetop, because they have no hydric disc corn syrup in their Kroger brand stuffing. So that's why we always get the Kroger brand no matter what. Um, but if you aren't too worried about that, you could get the Aldi brand for a lot cheaper. All right, but last but not least, I'm gonna grab three of the Snyder's of Hanover sourdough nibblers. These are my grandma's favorite. She um, loves these and they're actually really good. And this is a really wonderful price. They don't go on sale too much. So for $1.99, I am gonna go ahead and buy three more because the sale's about to end. So we've definitely blown our budget, <laughs> for sure blown it. Super bummer, like big bummer, but um, yeah, what you gonna do? It's inflation. So gonna grab these things and check out. All right guys, so all done at Kroger and all done grocery shopping for the day. And I am really, really happy with how everything turned out. So after that credit card reward, it is $86 and some change. So roughly $86. Um, not too bad. I wanted 75. I really wanted 75 and I thought I could swing it, but man, does when you go in these stores and you see the inflation prices, it is, it is crazy. It really is crazy. Things just have gone up. And so you might plan on spending a certain amount and then it goes up a little bit. So for only being about $11 and some change over budget, I'm happy. And I got the paper towels in there. So I'm thrilled. I really am. I'm really happy with this haul for the week. I got our groceries for the week and then some like the bars were stock up for the month. Um, and so, yeah, that's really, really good. So yeah, guys, that's all I got for this week's budget grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed and thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you.